Top of the morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 3rd, 2022. Well, doggone it. It looks like we could have a little bit of a reversal going on this morning after Facebook stubbed its toe overnight in its earnings reports, really triggering a substantial tech sell off after the bell. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. We have a nasty little reversal um, starting to happen here this morning. And although we had a, um, a nice rally uh, continuing yesterday, it was interesting to note that we had more declining issues than advancing issues, even into the close of the day where we had that surge right up at the end of the day. So take a look right here in the diamonds. As you can see, we're pressing up into that downtrend. And yesterday we did cross over that 50 day moving average trying to slice through this morning we're seeing a little bit of pushback in here and although futures have rallied a bit since i got up this morning um, at uh, well just before five o'clock this morning futures have rallied up just a little bit here in the diamonds we have a little pressure showing up in the other indexes due to some tech selling after some disappointing results in earnings so take a look right here we're holding right here at this little price support and we have some resistance above if we were to slip or fail from here that could be critical for us today failing at the downtrend failing back below the 50-day moving average could could certainly bring a little bit of uncertainty um, into the market and maybe raise that price volatility again here on the day so watch that closely it's also possible here in the in the diamonds that we try to push a little bit more money toward the diamonds today with the big failure we're starting to see in um, the tech sector and so there may be a little bit of a rotation to more of uh, the industrials or safety type stocks on the day so we'll want to keep a close eye on that watch this closely and then let's take a look at that SPY now SPY getting a pretty substantial reversal here um, this morning pressing back down notice we did push up we cracked through that little resistance yesterday in the chart but we are still underneath our 50-day moving average and this reversal today could certainly trigger a little bit of concern in the market and some extra selling so let's watch that closely when we take a look at this downtrend here in the chart that's not what we want to see we don't want to see that reversal right here that failure unless you want to be short the market which I kind of tend to want to be short the market right now, honestly. But when you look at this, um, that does reinforce that downtrend if that reversal holds through the day today. So watch that carefully. SPY could run into just a little bit of trouble and maybe some additional selling as the day goes on. So watch that close. And then let's take a look at our QQQ. Doggone QQQ. Going to get punished here today. We had pushed up through some resistance levels in this chart, as you can see, pushing up in this area. But unfortunately, we really only cracked up through that 200 day moving average and notice all of our shorter term averages pushing down and now we're catching that reversal this morning with a pretty substantial gap down in the nasdaq after facebook missed badly on their earnings report i was honestly a little bit surprised to see it drug every every big tech seemed to be drawn into the selling after the bell last night apple Amazon, Facebook, um, Netflix, Microsoft, all sold off um, after the bell last night, uh, pushing uh, this index substantially lower. So watch that carefully. And also keep in mind that we are failing here along our downtrend as well. So if we give up some of these price support levels and push back hard here, that could create some volatility, some uncertainty in the market. Um, so watch that carefully. And then let's take a look at our Russell. Um, IWM, pretty ugly here anyway 
in its chart. Um, it did manage to catch a little bit of upside right at the end of the day, uh, pushing up, but it was pretty much a bearish chart all day long um, yesterday. And you can see we have this very steep downtrend going on in here. We certainly could rally up higher or consolidate out here to this trend. So it may not be um, all lost here yet in IWM. And again, there may be a little bit of a move into some other stocks out of tech, rotation out of tech, because of uh, the big selling there. So it is possible we could see this rally a little bit. But let's keep in mind that we have have a substantial level of price resistance here in the chart to um, hold this um, index down. And I think IWM may be warning us that although we rallied back nicely, there may be more downside yet to come in the market. So be prepared for that volatility today to spike up as that uncertainty rolls out. Now, yesterday we had um, an interesting situation where we had a major miss in the ADP and the market just largely ignored it, um, absolutely ignored it. But um, the next couple of days we have some data that could definitely change some of those attitudes um, as it rolls out. So we'll want to keep an eye on those this morning. But let's take a quick look at the VIX. The VIX pulled back yesterday and then all of a sudden started to push right back up. So notice right in here we have that uptrending area here in the chart. And I had mentioned yesterday this level across here in that around that 20 handle on um, the VIX. And so we're kind of holding on to a couple areas of price support here in the chart. And with that selling this morning, we could see that starting to push back up. But it is nice that the volatility has died down a lot. That has helped option prices reduce some of the bid ask spreads um, in the market. But we may have some issues here yet to deal with. So watch that closely here in the chart. Then let's take a look at our um, T21 22. Now T21 22, this is where um, I got my first indication that there all wasn't quite what the market was trying to make it out to be. We saw all of that bullishness in the Dow. Um, we saw a little bit of negativeness in the QQQ and IWM, but SPY and diamonds just continued to push higher. But what was interesting is we had more stocks selling than we had advancing yesterday. We had more declining issues than advancing issues, and that pulled that T2122 back. Now, that could be good news for the bulls if we can find some inspiration in the market today to push on higher. Notice we have opened up some upside opportunities. So if we can find something in the market here to inspire those bulls, that does open up a little bit more opportunity because we had really kind of reached out there toward um, a bearish reversal zone or we had reached up there a little bit far stretched pretty far, pretty fast in the market. Now keep in mind, if those bears do find reason, and right now the bears certainly have probably the advantage here this morning with the tech uh, selling that's going on, then we have opened up also a very big opportunity for a downside move um, with that stretch um, it, to the upside in that relief rally. There's, We moved really hard and fast, about 2,500 points in the Dow, um, recovering from a, a week ago Monday. So um, that, that leaves a big open space that we could tumble back down if those sellers really start to pick up so watch that closely then let's take a look at our t2108 now t2108 also uh, during the day was signaling to me that there was it was not as rosy um, in the market as the um, indexes were trying to display and you could see that here where t2108 the number of stocks above their 40-day moving average actually was having trouble holding on to some increases throughout the day. So we were seeing a little bit more weakness there on T2108 and we happen to be coming into that weakness, you know, right here along all of this price resistance and downtrend here in that T2108. So a um, little bit of trouble maybe showing up here in that and the same in the T2107. Um, 
if you take a look at T2107, we rallied up toward this resistance level, but notice there we weren't really showing strength. We started to hook over right in that area. And of course, this downtrend is definitely strong here in T2107. So there was little hints of a problem here as we kept rallying into, um, into the close that there may not... Paradise may not be all it was cracked up to be um, in this rally back up, and it could be punishing for folks that were kind of chasing that move up. Let's take a look at our T2101. And T2101 also signaled a little bit of that trouble coming in. Notice it turned back up. We typically, it doesn't happen all the time, but we typically see market breadth increase on a selling wave. So this was just that little indication in here as it we turned back up just slightly that um, there was a little trouble out there with more declining issues than advancing issues. And notice we're trying to hold on to some support levels in here. And with a spike up this morning, if that selling pushes in hard, that could be an interesting hold of support. And we run that possibility. It could bring out those bears pretty strongly. So watch that close. And then let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar, we've got um, some things on here we're really going to have to pay attention to. Since we ignored that jobs number yesterday in the ADP, and it's understandable, ADP is not is not what it used to be um, on the economic calendar, but that was a major miss. We were looking at 250,000 expectation, came in at a negative a minus over 300,000. So that could have an int interesting effect on this jobless claims number here this morning. We'll want to watch that closely. If that spikes up. That definitely could have a negative impact on the market. And we're already feeling a little bit of negative pressure here in the pre-market. And then keep in mind, we've got productivity and costs, factory orders, ISM. And some of these economic data points in the market are starting to show us a little bit of pressure. They're starting to show that we could could have a demand problem in the market that inflation is having a negative effect on the consumers and we'll want to watch that pretty closely as these numbers come through today now keep in mind later on in the day we're going to get the fed balance sheet but you know nobody seems to care that we are our our fed is you know approaching nine trillion debt um, at the federal reserve let's take a look here um as we think about friday um don't be surprised if the market kind of stalls out um after we get through all of the morning swings and and data because we'll be thinking about that employment situation number on Friday. And then we'll also be kind of concerned and worried about what happens with Amazon today. If you take a look at Amazon, Amazon was drawn into the selling after the bell last night, selling off pretty, whoops, that's a two day, selling off pretty substantially. There's that 15 minute chart really being drawn into that selling. Now, Amazon is going to report after the bell today. So there could be a little bit of concern, a little bit of uncertainty coming in as a result of another big tech earning and how that might perform today. Now, having said that, we have a very big day of earnings reports here today that could move us around a lot. Today is our biggest day of the week. Nearly 200 companies on the list to potentially report. Um, some of those, there's a few of those that were unconfirmed, but most of them have confirmed reports. Take a look, we've got Ford that will be reporting today. We're gonna hear from Allstate. We're gonna hear from uh, BDX uh, today. We're gonna hear from Merck. I've been watching Merck here as a potential trade setup. Looks like we're getting a little pop and drop on that one in the pre-market here this morning. Um, we're going to hear from uh, Clorox today. We'll hear from Pins. And Pins actually got drawn into the selling yesterday um, after the, the Netflix report. So kind of keep an eye on that. Um, we'll hear from Nokia. We've got um, Estee Lauder and Ralph Lauren numbers today. We will also hear from um, SKX. Um, we're going to hear from SWKS today. So we've got quite a few stocks, um, Honeywell, uh, market moving type reports 
to keep us on edge here in the market and keep that emotion high. So expect that price volatility price volatility to remain pretty substantial and challenging um, as we move throughout this morning and all of these reports. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for the day. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up. So you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And I hope guys, you find these videos to be useful and to be helpful and how important it is to check out and, and really study uh, support resistance and trend in the market um, as a matter of fact let me just let me just share this with you guys because of this big stretch to the upside and because of the weakness I was seeing in the QQQ I placed a QQQ bear call credit spread on this just in it's more of a speculation trade because there was no sell signal here but I was able to put a, a credit spread up here against price resistance and that is paying off really good as a matter of fact after the bell yesterday um, it increased to as much as 25 percent return just you know uh, in one day so it is important to pay attention to price resistance levels in the chart and study those areas closely and not get caught up in the fear of missing out and chasing runs if um when, when the market seems over exuberant, that's when we want to raise our fear level. And when the market seems extremely just capitulating fear, that's when we want to start uh, being a little bit more aggressively long. Um, and you can see with this volatility of the market, um, that's going to um, pay off pretty well for us today here in Rightway Options. And for IWM, we did the same thing, picking up a, um, a trade in here. I wanted to get that credit spread just a little bit higher. But as you can see, this will be a profitable trade this morning. Um, and as a matter of fact, it stayed in the green all day yesterday so watch um, watch these closely and think about those price resistance levels and be careful with that fear of missing out we've seen enough of those economic numbers being weak here recently that we really do run that potential once we get through earnings um, there, we're going to run out of some of those substantial manipulations to pump the market back up. So we'll want to watch that carefully. I do think there is that possibility that we could see a lot of volatility in the months ahead. And as we get through this earnings and kind of slide into the summer, we might see the market either selling pretty hard or running into a very, very choppy consolidating type market without the inspiration of big growth in the economy. So watch that carefully and just really focus in on those support, resistance, and trend and make sure you're focusing in correctly and how you trade those markets around that. Volatility can really punish folks account and I hate to see that. I'm getting a lot of comments from folks that I work with individually that wish that they would have just stopped trading um, about a month and a half ago because that would have saved a lot of their money. So just keep that in mind and remember there is danger here. But with that guys, um, um, hopefully you get something out of these videos and I do appreciate all your kind support for the channel. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks that may be setting up. But I got to tell you guys, we're going to have to be really, really careful today. I'm not going to cover too many because I do think there is some additional danger here. As you guys know, I've been mentioning um, VMware. I do like the way this chart is setting up in this nice little pattern here, nice little upside move going on in the chart. Now we do want to recognize the fact that there is quite a little bit of price resistance that we have to deal with as we continue this process to move up. But I do think there is that possibility that we could see VMware, if it can get going here, if the bears really don't take over, we have that possibility that we could even move up and potentially fill this gap in here. So watch that closely. Um, VALE is another one, as you guys know, that I've been mentioning for quite a while. It's been moving up nicely, running in this upside trend, still looking very good. We've broken through resistance levels. We had a nice little move 
um, on Tuesday. Uh, we followed through on Wednesday to the upside. Don't rule out the possibility with the bearishness of the market today that we could rest or pull back toward that trend, but keep an eye on that. Um, VALE continues to look pretty good. Um, with that, I think it may be wise to be thinking about a little bit of defense here um, in the market um, with the selling here today. We saw a little bit of energy coming into Coke yesterday um, and some of the defensive sector stocks were perking up pretty strongly yesterday, which gave me a little another little clue that there may, although the markets were um, showing bullishness, there was a little bit of an underlying rotation going uh, back into some of the safety or defensive sector stocks. So take a look at Coca-Cola. We're a little flat here this morning on the pre-market, but we're holding in a nice little pattern. And if we can find some reason for bullishness, that may just perk on out. You may wanna take a look at stocks like Philip Morris. Philip Morris is also in one of those nice little consolidating patterns here. Resting, good de defensive sock, good divvy payer. Um, although we do have some resistance up here of these all time highs to consider, we're looking pretty good overall in Philip Morris. So watch that closely. There is that possibility that we could continue to move to that upside here um, with those charts showing, um, well, those defensive sector stocks maybe picking up some of that rotation. So watch that carefully. I do think it would be a good idea to keep an eye on some of these pay system stocks as well. Now, I don't, wouldn't want to chase these the way they're so elevated in this short-term move. Um, you can see Visa here running into some price resistance in the chart. So if this can get a little bit of a rest and pullback, this would be one I'd wanna put on a list to potentially watch for that next upside opportunity um, here in the market. So Visa, um, MasterCard should be on that list as well. Big strong move up here recently in MasterCard. Um, American Express also showing that. One other area that has been kind of impressing me lately that's been really, really strong is the insurance sector. Uh, take a look at Travelers. Travelers very, very strong here in this upside trend moving on up. Keep an eye on that. It kind of spiked up here yesterday, so a little rest or pullback might be due in that, but you might want to keep an eye on travelers. Um, I've seen like um, Progressive, Progressive holding up nice, had a nice little pop yesterday to the upside. Um, so watch some of these insurance industry stocks. They are trying to show some bullishness. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a wonderful day of trading. I want to wish you great success in the work that you do today. Um, have a great one and be safe. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early Friday morning. Take care, everyone.